Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video because of what I got on the bench here today. Check this out. You guys that watch the show know I bring you along with everything that I'm doing. Today, out at the range, I brought this. It's a new steel target for us. This is the Caldwell AR500 Prairie Dog Auto Reset Target. That was a mouthful, but I'm gonna read it right off the box. 3 8 rifle rated AR500 steel, automatic spring reset, lifetime guarantee on the target plate. So pretty cool, Prairie Dog target here. Coolest thing about it, it's rifle rated and it's auto reset. I don't care who you are, hitting steel is always more fun than hitting paper. So my idea for picking this up is, at least for now, what we're getting ready for deer season is, we get things sighted in, and then it's an interactive target at deer hunting distances. Get it sighted in, then prove that we can hit what we're aiming at, getting these rigs ready for deer season. So I'm gonna set this up down here on the range, put it together, bring you along with me putting it together, and then we're gonna test it out with some of the stuff that we're getting ready for deer season and this will be our verification yes this is a hunting scenario ping we're ready to go put it in the safe for when we need it in the deer woods but let's check it out let's go over to the bench see what's in the box and put it together quick all right so i'm gonna do my best to try to show you what's in the box here oh. manual i'll probably take a quick little glance at that make sure i do things right the first time everything's bubble wrapped here let me uh let me get this all out of the wrap and then i'll show you what's in the box all right so check it out we got four of these angle pieces we got the prairie dog this is the main base a long bolt that's the bolt that is going to go through there and hold that spring on four bolts four lock nuts and those or is what's gonna hold this on. And then it came with two stakes. But the long and the short of it is, here's how you do the legs per the instruction manual. Actually like that. And you're gonna do that for the front and the back. You can see where the holes are drilled there. So let me go ahead and get that piece put together. And then we'll take a look at putting this uh, prairie dog in with the spring there. All right, so we got the legs on it, piece of cake. Now, the front of it is gonna be the piece that has this radius welded in there. Gonna put the prairie dog here. That spring is gonna set down in the middle there. And then this bolt is gonna go through this side, actually through the prairie dog here, through this side, through the spring, and then out the other side. But we're gonna have to do some do some bending here and see if I can do this here all by myself without having to go get me an extra hand here. I think I can do it. Oh man, come on. We got the cameras rolling here. Definitely would be easier if you had a third hand, but I think we can do it. Fish it through this side. Just leave the spring out for now. Fish it through these two sides here, or this one side. Then I'm gonna put the spring in there. Squeeze that spring down while that bolt is holding the critter in place. Oh yeah, piece of cake. That's how you need to do it. Put the, uh, put this up there and line it up with the bolt going through first and that's a whole lot easier. So there, there's our spring loaded target. How cool is that? Then I'm gonna cinch up this Nut here on this side with my wrench. And then we're gonna be ready to party. I'm gonna stake it over here, but man, that's actually got more flex than I thought. That is really cool. So when we hit it, that's gonna have that's gonna really show some visual movement. This is even cooler than I thought. Awesome. Let me quit yapping and get this finished up here so we can sling at it. Alright, now I've got it set up next to my hundred yard side end target here so let's go back to the bench at 100 yards and see if we can hit us a prairie dog this is going to be cool i'll keep a camera up here too so you can see the target all right now what 
did I bring out here? Well, here's my Savage Axis in 300 blackout. I just loaded up some of the subsonic Remington 220 grainers. This ought to be pretty quiet, but uh, let's see if we can get that prairie dog. Now, if I remember right, I think I sighted this thing in at 30 yards. We're doing some in the woods up close work, so I'm going to hold the top of that prairie dog and just see what happens. Got to have the safety off, huh? Oh, yeah. It could barely even uh, hear that thing, but I saw that sucker flap down and come back up in the scope. That's cool. Got him right in about the neck. Oh, uh, that hit right where I held that time. Man, this is cool. Well, this will give us a, a look at the difference between some subsonic slower stuff, and then I've got a 350 legend up here too that's supersonic. Man, that's cool. I think we got one more in here. Oh, there we go. Got him. But that's my Savage Axis 300 blackout bolt action. It's got a pretty heavy barrel. That was subsonic Remington 220. And on the end, that's my Banish 30 can. That's what makes it super quiet. Now, let's do some faster stuff. This is going to be 350 Legend. So I've got a 46 caliber can on here. That's the Banish 46. But it is going to be supersonic. For that, I've got some House of Pain 170 grain lead tips. So the instructions on this target said to keep it under 3,000 feet per second. So with the 350 Legend, we're definitely keeping it under 3,000 feet per second. This is my Howa 1500 in 350 Legend. Got to have the scope caps off. Eight zoomies on this one. Lower this baby. There we go. I'm going to turn the lights on on this optic. Oh, yeah. That supersonic slaps it a little bit harder. We're going to take all the paint off that prairie dog's noggin. Oh, yeah. I put the stakes in the front two legs. I might have ought to put one stake in the front and one in the back, but it's holding it. Woo! I like that target. It's so much more fun to do these interactive style targets. Let's get him one in the belly button. Yeah, I think I got one more here. Come on, get in there. Belly button. Oh, yeah. Huh. Hey, that's a whole lot of fun. Let's go down there and check that target out. That's sweet. Pretty quiet, too, 350 Legend. All right, so that thing worked out pretty sweet, but something kind of interesting, just to kind of show you, the spall's going down and then also to the sides right there. Pretty cool. Now that, I like that spring. I was afraid it was gonna be a tighter spring and it would just kinda go boop. But that thing, when you hit it, really goes down just about the whole way. At least it looked like it went all the way back in the scope. So man, that thing is sweet. But there you have it, guys. Like I said, I bring you guys along with everything I'm doing. New target out at the range, Caldwell AR500 Prairie Dog. Pretty, pretty sweet. And I'm gonna leave that thing right there for, uh, cause I'm fixing to get ready a whole bunch of boo lot slingers here ready for deer season in November. But hey, pretty cool. Uh, check it out. The Caldwell AR500 Prairie Dog Auto Reset. That thing's pretty sweet, but hey, 
Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you're following us everywhere. You don't want to miss out on anything, giveaways. Make sure you're signed up for the newsletter on hootiehoo.com. We're doing awesome free, no strings attached giveaways through the end of the year. What else do we need to tell you about? Make sure you're subscribed to the Hootie Hoo channel. Appreciate y'all watching big time, really means a lot. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo! Okay.